Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy again, Unseen Assassin, and welcome back to another video. Today, I have for you another anime challenge. Today, I'm putting my friends head to head to test their anime knowledge to see, are they actually a weeb or are they not a weeb? Would you like to introduce yourselves, guys? Hi guys, uh, I'm Zidon. <laughs> Thanks for my character introduction. It's coming out. I can hold it. Omar, you just had to hold it for ten <laughs> more seconds. <laughs> you could burp all you want for your thing, but <laughs> I didn't know she's gonna go first. You just interrupted my monologue. Damn. <laughs> we're we're doing this all live. We're doing this all live. Continue. All right. Go, what was that? Who are you again? Uh, hi, I'm Zynon. Yeah. <laughs> you threw me off my groove now, so yeah, that's all you get. <laughs> that's good. All right. And who who the hell just burped again? You know who I am. Yeah, uh, anyway, anyways. Yeah, I, I don't need no introduction. That's right. Today, I'm going to be testing their these guys' anime knowledge. I have a bunch of anime synopsis, and some of these synopsises are going to be real, and some of them are going to be fake. Their job is to figure out if the synopsis is real or fake, and if it's real, what anime is it from? We're going to be going by a point-based system. If it's fake and they get it right, they'll get a point. And if it's real and they get it right, they get a point as well as an extra point if they guess the anime. So a lot of points up for value today, guys. How do y'all feel about this? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident, I think. <laughs> so, for example, I'm going to give you guys a synopsis right in front of us and I'm going to read it off to you. And if you guys know the answer, we'll go three, two, one, and then blah, blah, blah. We'll see, you know, the point value. So, for example... The protagonists are se step siblings. They are gamers and shut ins. They are known in the online gaming community for being undefeated in every game they played. One morning, they received an email asking if they feel like they were born in the wrong world with a link to a chess game. After winning the chess game, they replied to the email and got teleported to a different world, a world where everything is decided by games. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's real. Yeah, it's oh, no wait, game, wait. no life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, the, the three, two, one. We're not. Gonna oh, wait, wait, wait. Countdown. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> three, two, one. What is it? No game, no life. Yeah. Yeah, no game, no life. You stupid. <laughs> That was the that was the practice round. We're not going to count that in, but essentially, uh, I'll read off to you whatever you have to say. Don't give answers, and then three, two, one, we'll guess it off. All right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the hardest Alrighty. part of the challenge is going to be answering after the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do three, two, one, and then if it's fake or real, and then whoever says it's real, we'll do another three, two, one if that happens. Okay. All right, All right we're going to do that. All right. The first synopsis. The protagonist is a heavy man. Oh, this is not going to work out. <laughs> the protagonist is a handyman. He's a college dropout that doesn't have any dreams or goals. One day, while fixing a leaky shower for a regular customer, a female scientist, a zombie bites him. To stay human, he needs to live with the scientist and drink her blood three times a day. This sounds almost real enough to be like a light novel based uh, anime. I don't know. It kind of sounds more like a porn plot, but then again. <laughs> That's why I said light novel. Light novels are pretty much like borderline. Yeah. Like light novel mm. harem, you know? This, this is some like, uh, uh, what is it? What's that where it's like a guy needs to like live off of this girl's saliva or something? Yeah, some kind of bodily fluid, so... <laughs> Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I think it, it's still kind All of right. fake. I'm going to give you guys a countdown. You're going to give me your answers. If it's real or fake. Three, two, one. Fake. What'd you say, Zai? Fake. The answer was fake. Yeah, it's a fake anime. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. okay. This it's anime is like, enough. Good. 
Yeah, it sounds like I'm like it sounds a little too like specific to be to be real. A majority of these, like <laughs> a majority of these I did find online. There wasn't any, you know, correlation to if it was like a freaking light novel or a hentai per se, but that you know, it's certainly not an anime, so that is one point for the each of you guys. Yay. <laughs> and we're going to be going on to our next. And by the way, T, just to let y'all know, some of these synopsises, um, I pretty much typed out to like what my knowledge is. So you're some like the first one was for uh, my anime list. But from here on out, a majority of these are going to be, you know, my descriptions of them. So okay, take it into account. So next one. <clears throat> The protagonist is a young girl. She is in a hospital for counseling after witnessing a murder. However, she woke up in a mysterious building with no memories apart from her name and the reason why she came to this hospital. Real or fake anime? I th oh. 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 Hmm. I hate how vague this is. Because... <sighs> You're not going to see a lot of names, by the way. You're really yeah. not going to see a lot of names. Yeah. I, mean, I hope not. <laughs> no, because then you're going to know immediately. It's like, oh, this is this person, or this is... And it's so stupid. It's a young girl. Wait. An I think I know girl. which one it is. I think it's real. I think it's real. Mm. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, so... Real. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with real. It's real. It sounds real, real enough. It's real. It's real. Yeah, it's, it's a real anime. That's, yeah, that's why I thought. All right, so now that's a real anime, but that's what, that's what anime is it, though? Okay. Good. Good. No idea. That's real. Uh, okay, so I don't know the name, but it's the, okay. the little, it's this little girl, right? She wakes up in the hospital. She has no idea where she is. Like, you, oh, oh, thanks. You just, uh, you just no, 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 so the, it's, it's, the synopsis. It's, it's really <laughs> think, of it like, think of it like this. Think of it like this. So... I want to say it's like saw, but with like, you're you like you so this girl she starts at the basement floor of this mysterious building, and she has to work her way up all the way to the top. Oh, oh. is it um called Angels of Death or something? Oh, what, yes. Oh my god, you guys in these point systems. Yes, it's. It, can I go through a countdown without having to like? <laughs> You guys aren't giving that point. I'm not giving you guys pity points. That's just... <laughs> Let me do countdowns! <laughs> you All should right. have a count. Like right. a count I, I will, I will mute myself. Miss the countdown. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Next anime. This is gonna be... <laughs> the protagonist is a male student. After a series of strange events, the protagonist got addicted to his classmate's saliva. Thinking that it's love, their relationship slowly progresses. I literally just talked about this. Okay, we were... We, we've had a whole conversation about this thing. It's definitely real. Yeah. yeah I we don't, don't remember the name of the anime, unfortunately. So it's on. I'll give you guys the right. points for that. Whoever can guess the anime name, that'd be pretty shocking because uh, it's like really it's kind of well known, but not really. Rent a girlfriend? No, no, it's no. <laughs> I never remember that. Rent a girlfriend, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the anti version. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, any I ideas? Am, I'm completely lost. Any ideas, I? Crickets. Crickets. Um, I have no idea. All right, we're just gonna move <laughs> on from this. But you guys, it is a real anime synopsis, and it's called "Mysterious Girlfriend X." Oh. Oh. He was literally saying that. I was like, "It's about a girlfriend." That's mm -hmm. what I know. Exactly it is <laughs> the weirdest plot, you know, but. Yeah, I have no redeeming factors. It's just it's just for those people who are into it. You know, they like it. Yeah. I I can't I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one we have here. 
Dragons are prideful creatures. They scale social status by how much gold they have in their caves. The protagonist is a 1,000 years old male dragon. His cave is filled with men's magazines, dating sims, games, and anime-related merchandise. His parents took it all and will only return it, return his belongings once he f- once he fills his cave full of gold. Uh. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. That that that's a that's a synopsis right there. Yeah, it this <laughs> could be real, but it it doesn't sound like something anyone would watch. Mm. I'm gonna force a countdown on you guys because I don't want you guys to freaking say your answer. So, any answer in three, two, one, fake. Okay. Man, y'all are too good at this. It's a fake anime. <laughs> you almost had me with the dragon because I was like, Miss Cook. Yeah, oh, I was man, like, That's a girl. <laughs> see, but like, when it comes to dragons, I don't think I've ever seen or heard of an anime where the character is a legitimate dragon. They're always mm-hmm. some like kind of half weird female dragon hybrid or something. <laughs> They're not like a full dragon. I should have done more details on the freaking. Dragon to human scale instead of just saying it's a dragon. <laughs> it's a dragon. Big bahongalalonga lungs. That's uh-huh. Miss Kobayashi's dragon made there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. I honest to God don't even know how many I have left. I did not prepare for this. So we're just gonna get singing and see if it's the last one or not, or if there's still two more or three more. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are too good at this. The score is four to four. Hey. So next one. The protagonist is a male gamer. He plays an oh, he plays an MMORPG. Wow, my grammar sucks. One day, he proposed to a girl in game. He got rejected because she is actually a guy in real life. Heartbroken and mind shattered, he swore to never trust another girl in game as long as he live. I think no, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say anything at all. Hmm. All right, with the fester in, and I'm gonna need an answer in three, two, one. Real, real, real. Okay, we got it. We damn it, I should have made this harder. This is real. I know this because, um, Funimation had this like podcast thing where they like, it was something similar to this. With this guy, he was like, this is like, mm-hmm. exactly what you said, pretty much. <laughs> exact down the t- now, the question is, it's a real anime, but what anime is it? That's where you get me, because I've... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, jeez. Mm. I, I don't know. No clues, no hints, no, 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 there's nothing in the, those noggins? No. Look, man, I I know I know it's real. I just don't know what it's y'all called. Are just an, y'all are <laughs> even stalemate to the end of it. All seriously, hey, it's called. And you thought that there is never a girl online. There we go. Yes, yes. Never heard of it. It is the okay. This guy right here, freaking. I haven't seen it all the anime, so I can't you know give full judgment. From what I've seen so far, this dude's a moron. He one hundred percent is. He looks literally. Like he yeah. is so traumatized by the fact that he got rejected by a dude online. He is so he is so like complicit to think that this girl is not into him at all. Yeah. When he's literally a big bazonga long of freaking female pressing up against him, like dude, it's right there. Yeah, like, like what how I, can you miss this? I'm gonna be honest. You see that girl? Yeah, on his arm. Look deep into her eyes. Yeah, uh, that that's she. That shallow plot line. That's it. She's a what? She's a, she's basic. Basic. She's very basic. Mm. She's, she's like, like she's like the typical like if I remember correctly she's like a typical character. I think yeah. she also for in the char- the show as well. And it's just like you're just dumb. You're dumb. Why are we coming after you? You're dumb. dumb. It's just it's all that. 
trauma he experienced, you know? God, yeah. he's just so out of it. I don't get it. I really don't. They're in high All school, right. too. What's he doing proposing to people? I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird generation. Anyways, the next anime. Um, All right, this is going to be a good one. All right. <clears throat> The protagonist is a map maker in a world where demons, dragons, demi humans, and other mythical creatures coexist with humans in peace. The map maker found an elf sleeping deep within a cave and nursed him back to health. The elf was a test subject from a secret lab. He was able to escape thanks to the sacrifice of his friends and fellow test subjects. News of the elf with unique powers reached the head scientist of the laboratory. In order to keep the lab and its experiments a secret, the scientist sets out monstrous experiments to kill both the elf and the map maker. I'm sorry, I can't get the, the Dora song out of my head. Have you said map? The what? The 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 I'm the map song. I'm the map from Dora. Yeah. It's, Listen, I've been playing like Genshin Impact, trying to crack code, finish this freaking map for like <laughs> God knows how long. Uh huh. I like blinking. It was like midnight. <laughs> oh, yeah. All I'm gonna need an answer. Is this a real or fake anime? In three, two, one. Real? Fake. It's a fake anime. <gasps> this anime doesn't exist. Damn. This was a really good one. Like that, that. Oh my god. I like. Mm. I found this one online, and I, I I like modified it a bit. But this like it sounds so legit. It does. I was like, it. It's like it's one of those. It's too specific. But then I'm like, you know, that sounds about right. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that, and with that, we're going to our last anime question right now. And are y'all ready for this? Yeah. I just I I wonder if yeah. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh man, for Uncle, a lecherous but handsome toilet designer, it is just an ordinary day of neglecting his duties as a single parent to hit on women to talk about his superpower. His ability to tell a lady's hip size at a glance, but when he is sucked down into a toilet, the Space Peace Pat Republic Alliance Committee Hero Committee gives him real superpowers, and he becomes the hero of Earth. There is only one problem. He has become an ugly, unrecognizable fatty who is unable to reveal his real identity. I hate you so much. Oh, I hate God. So much. <laughs> for the ambiguity of this of like how how weird this sounds <laughs> for, let's just just, just um, sign on what what, what were your thoughts on this <laughs> um i'm i'm pretty sure i have a definitive answer on it uh, all right oh my god oh go ahead Go ahead. Go ahead. Re real or fake anime in three, two, one. It's real because you told me about this earlier. Yeah. You you <laughs> like pretty much said this is like the weirdest but best anime ever. It's real. Yeah, it's real. I really gotta stop telling y'all these things seriously. I should not have told you any of yeah. this. Now the question is, I I was so I was I was so lost. In that's exactly. I know exactly. Now, do you know what the anime is? What the name of it is? I don't know. <laughs> you remember names? I always just like think it's like, oh, it's Toilet Kun. <laughs> <laughs> toilet Kun. This is a nickname, but I forgot why. What it's actually called? <laughs> toilet Kun. Oh my god! All right, no, whatever. All right. The anime is called To Be Hero. Oh, <laughs> I literally, we've seen this cover as well. This is 
and I will vouch for the weirdest, but the funniest and outright, you know, just craziest anime I have seen to date. It's hilarious. It makes no sense. And it is the stupidest anime, but it's so good at the same time. Just based on the artwork, you can tell what exactly what kind of show this is. It kind of, it just just drew me in as soon as I saw this cover art. I'm like, I need I need to see this, and it did not disappoint. <laughs> but with that, the end scores reveal Omar has a total of seven points, and Zynon with a total of six points, therefore making today's winner freaking Toilet Boy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so so delayed. delayed so delayed. <laughs> I was waiting for Omar to say something first. <laughs> Omar, are you good? <laughs> and, pff, I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? You won one. You won a competition. You won with this. Oh, oh I oh I won. Oh. That's... Yeah, I just said that you Dude. won. Listen, you have a winner speech. I'm eating noodles. Okay, I'm eating the freaking noodles. Oh my god! Stop eating new winner speech. What's a winner? Give us your winner speech. I really like noodles. Anyways, with that, thank you all for watching this horrendous video. Thank you to Zion and Omar for coming down today to co to compete in this competition. Uh, I gotta reconsider how much I tell these people things. And with that, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Any last words, Zion Omar, before we head out? Uh, this is Asian approved. <laughs> Omar? I am very happy to be here. Thank y'all for watching. Stay safe out there, everybody. And peace out, bros.